fallen in love with Shetland. I really have. It is a spectacular place. And I'm going to do cod two ways, really. We're going to use some of this piltock and salt cod. And we're going to use this bad boy over here. This big, massive, great line caught cod. Big, proper fish. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with a stew. For that, I want some shallots. Dice these all up. Nice and fine. So this is the garnish, it's the sauce, it's everything. For the garlic, and then in the pan, a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. We've got the onions and garlic in the pan. I'm going to use a selection of nice little tomatoes over here. Literally, we just chop these, throw them in. What you want to do is just soften down the tomatoes a little bit, take a glug of white wine as well. And then the herbs that I'm going to add to this is just a little bit of basil to start with. I'm going to put a little bit more in at the end. Now, while our tomatoes are cooking, we can talk about this amazing salt cod and pilter. This is how you would buy it. And basically, to reconstitute this, what you need to do is soak it overnight. That is what you end up with. So this is the cod and this is the pilter. You can see the colour is slightly, slightly different. Just basically, just simply cook this in water. It takes about four to five minutes, that's all. And you end up with a piltuk here and the salt cod here. So there's a few bones in this as well. So you've just got to just watch out. But what we're looking at doing is just breaking this into nice flakes. See that? The nice flakes of the cod. I'm just going to leave that to one side. Meanwhile, I'm going to turn his attention to this fella. This bad boy. A proper line caught cod. You don't often see it like this. But I wanted to get this. Look at this thing. Look at that. Amazing, one of the best fish in the sea, really. This is just phenomenal. So what you've got to do is then fillet this, which is easier said than done. You might be best to get your fishmonger to do this for you, unless you fancy eating a lot of fish suppers. Now, a fish this sort of size, you need decent sort of knives for the larger stuff like this, a serrated knife to get through some of the bones is the only way. Now also with this, you don't want to waste any of it when you get an amazing piece of fish like this. And you can tell this is where these beautiful cod cheeks come from. So this muscle here is just fantastic if you can get all of it. The French absolutely love cod cheeks and monkfish cheeks. but And with that nice piece of fish, I'm just going to chop this up into a couple of pieces. Now to simply cook our cod, I'm going to get some oil butter. Just get the butter foaming first before you put the fish in. So we can then season our cod. You can see it cooking halfway up the side like that, but what I do when I get a nice little colour, I flip that over. Now because it is so thick, we can actually cook it on the stove if we wanted to. I like to finish it off just in the oven, 200 degrees, only for about three or four minutes. Now, while that's in the oven, we can finish off our tomato stew. We're going to keep this really simple in terms of flavour. So I've got some tomatoes that have wilted down, a few bits of potatoes. These have just been cooked, just a few diced potatoes. I've got some wonderful beans here. You can buy these online as well, just some nice pre-cooked white beans. Then you've got this delicious salted fish combination of the cod and the piltuk and you put that in there as well now to finish this we just put some black pepper and what you can do if it starts to dry out a little bit is add some more olive oil and then to keep the color we use a combination of basil and just a touch of chopped parsley once you add the beans and the potatoes and the oil, it starts to thicken up and you've got a beautiful little sauce that. Now it's important with this as well, not to overcook it. What I like to do whenever I've got fish like this, I just like to finish it off with a little bit more butter, just coat the fish. Now it is important really not to overcook it. The only way you can really tell is to just press the top. You almost feel this resistance of going, but you see that little flake just dissipate there. It just starts to break like that. That fish is ready and it can sit there. You don't have to serve it straight out of the oven straight away, but our stew's ready. 
combination of the cod, the piltuk as well. You've got this beautiful bit of line caught cod to go with it. And there you have it, a taste of the Shetland Isles.